what's good everybody welcome back to my channel it's just me Jenny where it is what it is and you get what you get and as you can tell by the title I am hyped I'm finally about to go see the Lion King the remake um I hope that I'm not disappointed today because the Lion King is a classic so they better get it right I hope uh, we are not disappointed. I hope everything is done correctly. The music, I want to have that feeling. But he said, I'm gonna be a mighty king. Fuck that. If that, hum ya, but I'm in, but I'm Right? I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah. They got the 15 minute test. They ain't got it right in the first 15. Right. Bad review. <sighs> We'll see when we get there. You want to wait. Nice to tell her, but how to make her see the truth about my... Okay, so we got lucky. They're still showing previews, so now we ran back out to get something from the concession stand. It's 20 minutes, all right? Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, we got 20. No, less than. We made it, we made it. Come on now, come on now. Fuck it. Shit. Cause we got... Still got four minutes. Got to go on our Shit must be difficult right now. Always oh, gotta be extra. Just audio shit in the tub. Excellent, 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 excellent remake of the original. I was very, very worried and skeptical because some of these remakes are like not that good. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. I don't know what that was. But this time they got it right. It was so good for the time you first heard. I was just like, same feeling. Like, I had goosebumps. And I literally cried through the whole movie. I don't know why I was crying, but I had tears in my eyes throughout the whole movie. I don't know if it's because I was, like, thinking about my youth, how long ago the original came out, but it just took me back. Like, I remember reading that they said that the movie was not going to be like scene for scene from the original but it kind of was like they didn't like do anything extra like no they actually did it was scene for scene with a little bit of a little more added to the scene or like different lines but it was pretty much like you was just watching the same movie just in live action pretty much um but it was so good it was so good and Simba was so freaking cute like I can't oh it just made everything so much more enhanced looking at how cute he was and just like when Mufasa died that was it I was crying it just felt so real um that's the point right but it just made everything even more like oh my god this is and it's just nice to see not the typical disney happy go lucky sing along movie like they it was real like these are the things that happen like it's kind of like i actually learned this in class it's kind of like hamlet like they compare the lion king to hamlet sometime because of how um what was his name claudius 
his like scar and how he tried to make um, killing the king look like an accident and all this crap so he could become the ruler, all of that. I don't remember the Hamlet thing, but that's why a lot of people compare it to Hamlet. But um, great lesson for children. Like, hey, this is life. This is the circle of life. Okay, sometimes you can't trust everybody, not even your own family. Hello, okay. Uh, yeah. Anyway, not gonna go on there, but it was so good. Like, I am excited. It was everything I was hoping for. If you have not gone to see it, you have to go and watch The Lion King. Excellent job. The only critics of the sing-alongs like me and my sister yes we was in there singing very loud i do not care because all of the songs they kept the same thank god because i was like oh my god please do not put no new songs they kept all of the original songs just can't wait to be king um the love tonight what was the other one Akuna Matata, all of the songs was, even Scar's song, um, Be Prepared, all of the songs was original. And um, the only thing that I was like, mm, for me, for me was like some of the voices. When it's a classic like Lion King, you kind of get, like you kind of expect the same voices, same scenes, same all of that. So I'm not going to lie, some of the voices was a little bit like, mm, okay, like, First, thank you, James Earl Jones, for staying healthy all these years so that you can be the original Mufasa for us. That made it all the more perfect to hear that voice because, no, let's be real, nobody else could do that voice like that. James Earl Jones is Mufasa, I'm sorry. But um, hearing his voice was everything. Um, Simba's voice was okay, the, the kid version and the adult version, very good. Um, Nyla, her younger voice, was a little, eh, okay. Um, Queen Bee, as we all know, was her as she got older. A lot of people I'm hearing is like, eh, no, my sister, she she didn't care for her being Nyla. Um, I think she was okay, because if you listen to the original Nyla, Nyla kind of did have like a heavy voice, but the only thing is like, she needed more aggression in her voice like when she was doing like certain lines she had I wish she had a little more aggression when she said it but other than that I think she did a good job but it was so hard to not see Beyonce like in the studio saying the words instead of seeing Nala <laughs> like that was the only thing like I was actually visioning Beyonce in the studio doing the voices instead of seeing the actual lion but whatever. I mean, she's Beyonce, right? She just has one of the voices you're just going to see Beyonce no matter what she does. Um, another voice that was like, eh, was Scar's voice. Like, his voice stood out to the original one. Like, he just had that, like, when he called Sarabi. <laughs> like, I was waiting to hear that. If you've seen the original, you know why I said that. But um, I was just waiting for that tone but it wasn't it wasn't bad but it wasn't there for me um Rafiki is another one his original voice was everything when he would when he realized that um Simba was still alive that laugh I was looking for that laugh and it quite it, it, it didn't quite do it for me in the remake but still good job and one of the hyenas which originally was Whoopi Goldberg's voice that was another voice that was kind of like, eh. Like, to me, the remake, it was too feminine. Like, to me in the original, Whoopi's voice was so, like, you didn't even see gender. You know what I mean? Like, we know it was Whoopi Goldberg, but you, if you didn't know it was Whoopi Goldberg, you wouldn't know that. I just said that mad quick. If you didn't know it was Whoopi Goldberg, you didn't think if this was a female or a male's voice. But in the remake, like, it was clearly a female, and her voice was just too, like, too sassy. Like, the hyenas wasn't sassy. Like, they were evil and also funny at the same time. And I just was missing that mark with the hyenas. So, those, those uh, three voices, I would have liked to have 
heard the original ones like Whoopi's still around I don't know about the guy who did Scar and um who else did I say oh and Rafiki I think he actually passed away the guy who did Rafiki's voice um but other than that everything else was to perfection like those are the only things I couldn't get around was the voices it was kind of like okay whatever um but other than that it was so good it was so good like the the vibe was there only thing that was annoying me was the kids in there but it is a children's movie but we told y'all when they said they was coming out with this keep your kids home this is not for them because they was not even respecting when Mufasa died like they were talking and crying and whining like we don't do that like respect the film be quiet you don't like what you're seeing get out i'm just saying like this should be a set time for them to go in a set time or a separate theater <laughs> i'm sorry but it was just like come on now like shh, quiet please pay attention respect what's happening on this screen right now but whatever I'm not gonna ramble too much. All I have to say is, it was excellent, excellent, excellent. If you are a huge fan of the original, you will not be disappointed by the remake. I feel like it was pretty much the same exact thing, except for live action this time. That was the only difference in the whole film. Other than that, they stayed true to the script. They stayed true to everything and Thank you, whoever's idea this, whoever's, whoever idea this was, thank you from the bottom of my heart, thank you for taking me back to my childhood, thank you for allowing us to relive that as an adult, excellent, excellent job. As always, thank you for watching, like this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, yes. Also, hit that notification bell so that you know when I'm making another video. And Jenny is out. Akuna Matata, everybody. Akuna Matata.